sing you are great. We bless you, hey, Daddy. You are great. 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 I receive the deep of our truth. You are great. 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 Praise 
presence Amen. that Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's awesome. Yes. It's marvelous. Yes. It's wonderful. Yes. It's great. Yes. And it's glorious. Yes. The bless is mighty and awesome. Amen. We're continuing our series, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Understanding the righteousness of God. Amen? Amen. So righteousness is having the right standing with God. Amen? It's the nature of God that God has impacted to us. Praise the Lord. The Bible said we are partakers of the divine nature. The divine nature that we are partakers of is what? The righteousness of God that has been imputed to our spirit man. Not our emotion, not our body, but our spirit man. Praise the Lord. You can put on that tablet, please. Our spirit man. Amen? Amen. So you are righteous and your righteousness is in your spirit. Praise the Lord. And righteousness is a gift. It's a gift of God to you and I. Amen? Amen. We don't work for it. It's a free gift. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. The Bible tells us that by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Amen. It doesn't matter how good you are. You can never be good before God. Amen. Praise the Lord. It does not matter how much good you do. That does not make you less a sinner. By nature, you are a sinner. Yes. Every man born of a woman is a sinner. Not because of what they do, but because of the nature they have. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. So, what makes a man righteous is not what they do, but it is what they are. That which has been imputed unto them. That is why we must put our faith in Christ Jesus. The ground for justification is the death of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You cannot put your faith in your own works. Say mm -hmm. God has to let you into heaven because you have been nice. No you have six over ten or you have nine over ten. No. If you, even if you have ten ten, you can never have ten ten. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even if you have ten ten according to the law, you still have to put your faith in Christ Amen. to go to heaven. Amen? The ground of justification, the ground of righteousness is the death of Christ. Amen? Apart from any works. Amen? Amen. The means of justification is faith in Christ. Amen. If you are right, you write that one down. The ground, the ground of justification is the death of Christ. We read in Romans 5, 9. Amen? That Jesus... By the blood of Christ, we are justified. Romans 5, 9. Put it on the screen. The ground of justification. Justification is righteousness. Justification is the act of making us righteous. When God declared us guiltless. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, the ground of justification, the ground of righteousness is faith. Is faith in, I mean, is the death of Christ. Praise the Lord. Romans 5 tells us, much more than being now justified by his blood. We shall be saved from wrath through him. Amen. We are justified by the blood of Christ. Our faith in the blood of Christ justified us from every sin. Amen. Amen? So the ground of justification is the death of Christ. Amen. Romans 5, 8. Apart from any works. Amen. Apart from any works. Amen. Then the means of justification is faith. Amen. Romans 5, 1. The means of justification is what? Faith. Therefore, being justified by how? By how? Let's read. Therefore, being justified by, by, faith. by what? Faith. By what? Faith. By what? Faith. By what? Faith. We have peace with God for our Lord Jesus Christ. So the means of justification is faith. The ground of justification is faith in the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So justification is my word. Man had seen the broken God standard. Man was in need of receiving the righteousness of God to enter into fellowship with Him. Praise the Lord. It's man what? It's man that sinned. Praise the Lord. And it's man that needed to restore the relationship with God. And God did something to restore man to Himself. Praise the Lord. Are you still with me? Yes. Let's go to Romans chapter. I mean, Philippians chapter 3. Did I read it last week? Philippians chapter 3. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3, 
This is Apostle Paul's letter to the church in Philippi and the letter to us too. Let's start from verse 1. He said, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same thing to you, to me indeed, is not grievous. But for you, it is safe. In other words, repetition is the mother of all. How do they call it? Amen. It's the mother of all learning or training. Praise the Lord. We need to repeat and repeat and repeat for people to hear and understand. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Apostle Paul said, I am not intimidated to repeat the same thing again. He said, it is not grievous. It is safe for you. Amen. Amen. So when somebody, when a preacher is teaching, or you are listening, don't say, I've heard that. I know that now. Praise the Lord. You must listen to the word of God as you've never heard it. Amen. Amen. It's, you must listen to it again and again. Praise the Lord. Faith does not come by hearing. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Are you with me? It's hearing by hearing. The word of God. So, Apostle Paul said, beware of dogs and beware of evil workers. Beware of the concession. Beware of dogs. Who did he call dogs? He called dogs those who who who, who comes amen to who comes to the Judaism I was the legalistic, amen. Who come to deceive people out of grace into law? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He called them dogs. He said, Beware of evil workers. He called them evil workers. These are the guys that, you know, Apostle Paul was preaching and establishing the church based on the truth that faith in Christ justify you, amen. But these Judaism would come to those churches and say, No, 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 Apostle Paul is wrong. You must keep the whole law to be saved. You cannot be saved by faith. You must be saved by faith and the works of the Lord. Amen. Apostle Paul said, no. It's faith alone that saves you. Mm. Amen. And if, if the faith is genuine, it will produce works. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. When faith is genuine, it will do what? Produce works. So the works does not save you, but true faith has works. Amen. So when you are righteous, you walk righteously. The fruit of righteousness is expected. But, so to be righteous is a position we have in Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So when you are righteous, then you need to walk righteously. We'll get to that part of it. But what we want to establish how that we are righteous and how we became righteous. Praise the Lord. So Apostle Paul was warning the church. He said, don't follow the circumcision. Even they were also explaining that, look, you can't be saved without doing your, a circumcision. Mm. They wanted the people to do circumcision. Apostle Paul said, no, you don't have to be circumcised to be saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The only faith in Christ saves. Amen. Amen. Circumcision was given to Abraham under the old covenant. Amen. Amen. Circumcision has health benefit physically, even up to now. Praise the Lord. Amen. So that was a physical, it has physical health to it. Verse 3 says, For we are the circumcision which worship God in spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Mm. He said, We are the true circumcision. Apostle Paul was saying, The believer, the born again believer, are the true circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus. Our faith is in Christ Jesus. Mm. Not, we have no confidence in the flesh. Not what we did is what Christ has done. He said, now, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man think that he has whereof he might trust in the flesh, I bow. He said, if anybody think that they have a right to boast, he said, I have more right to boast in the flesh than they are. Now, this is his credential. This is the, if he wanted to boast, this was the ground for boasting. Mm -hmm. Verse 5, he said, I was circumcised the eight days. That is according to the law. Mm -hmm. Of the stock of Israel, a true Israelite, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, mm. as touching the Lord in Pharisee. This was his credentials before he got born again. Amen? This is high quality credentials mm. that he had. He said, concerning zeal, I was so zealous persecuting the church. That was his credential. He was so zealous according to the law, and he was persecuting the church. He was telling them, none of you did that. Now, look at it. He said, touching the righteousness which is in the law. Touching the righteousness which is in the law. So there is the righteousness which is in the law. He said, 
touching the righteousness which is of the law. Did I jump in? As touching the law, a Pharisee. Yeah. As verse, verse 5 again, circumcised the AD of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. As touching the law, a Pharisee. Amen. It was a Pharisee. Praise the Lord. Concerning Z, persecuting the church. So the Pharisees considered themselves the custodian of the law and the defender of the law. Why the Sadducees consider themselves the custodian of the oral law. Amen. Amen. But the, the, the Pharisees believe that you know, they, they, they are the custodian of the law. Praise the Lord. Concerning the persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Now listen to that. It said, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. It didn't say perfect. It said blameless. It didn't say guiltyless. It said blameless. It's very important that we understand that. Why? What does it mean blameless? That means he lived according to the law. To the best of his ability. He maintained the standard of the law. So, and because he offered sacrifice. So the sacrifice of animals and the rituals and everything he did, what did he give him? Blameless. He didn't make him perfect. Praise the Lord. He made him what? Blameless. In other words, he can stand before God. Amen? But it was still, if it was not, no longer genuine because Christ has come. Are you what I'm saying? According to human standard, he said he was blameless. Mm. But not according to God's standard. Oh, Hallelujah. Do you understand that? Mm. He said blameless. Now, this is his credentials. Amen? Mm -hmm. This is his curriculum vitae that he want to present. This is his CV. Amen? But what things were given to me, this is what, now is verse 7. But what things were given to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Mm -hmm. All this CV, all this credential that I have, he said, I counted them loss for Christ. Why? He said, Yeah, doubtless, I count all them but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. He said, This thing does not profit me nothing. I count them but loss. Because there is a surpassing knowledge. There is a surpassing uh, experience. There is a surpassing blessedness in Christ. Amen? Amen? For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. And do count them but done. That I may win Christ. Amen. That means all the credentials that I have. All the repute. All the physical privileges that I have. That, that make me somebody. He said, I counted them as dung. Mm -hmm. Dung is, is excrete. You know? The cow poo. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. He right. says, it's, it's, it's useless. Mm -hmm. When it comes to eternal life, mm -hmm. natural credentials are useless. Mm -hmm. When it comes to eternal life, a relationship with God. Amen? Mm -hmm. It only has earthly value. It has no mm -hmm. heavenly value. value. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. You saw the, if you list, watch the, the video I put on WhatsApp group, you know, the man who was a secret millionaire, a secret donor, mm -hmm. spending billions, and he was living in an apartment, to support charity everywhere, mm -hmm. anonymously, and when they finally found him, discovered him out, they asked him, why did you do all those things? He said, because in the coffin, you will, not, you will not carry your good or your dollars. And all these things are meant for him. He was living in an apartment with his wife. But he was spending billions in America to support different, different universities, different, different charitable, different, different organizations. Praise the Lord. And he lived humble. He had only small handbag that used to go to work. And he take bus to work. Doesn't have a car and has given away billions, not billions of money in America. Because his perspective, he understood that what God blesses us is for the use of man here on earth. 
nothing is going to heaven. It has no help. What was what's to it that he has, it has no eternal value. You can't carry money to, to heaven. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the best thing to do is to use this to serve humanity. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. God wants us blessed. God wants us to have the best. God wants us to. God does not want us to live in poverty. Amen? Amen. But God does not want money to have us. God wants us to have money. Amen? Amen. God wants us to have abundance so that we'll be able to meet, support Amen. His work and meet our need. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. But not, it's not just the money for philandoyancy, mm -mm. extravagancy. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not about living in the best hotel, the best house, the best car. You know, it's about supporting the kingdom, Amen. advancing the kingdom, helping Amen. the homeless, helping the poor. Amen. Why you live in abundance? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So Apostle Paul said, everything that was important, that was of good to me, so I consider them dung. Mm -hmm. That I may win Christ. Hallelujah. So to win Christ, you need to consider natural things. That's what Jesus said by take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Deny yourself. Self is the enemy of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Self, sin is selfishness. Mm. Every act of sin is what? Selfishness. selfishness. And it is rebellion. Mm. It is we not wanting to do the will of God, but mm. we want to do our thing. Mm. That's what sin is. It's independence, rebellion from the will of God. Amen? So, the Lord has spared us to walk in humility and in holiness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Humility, holiness, and hunger for Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where are we now? Nine. Verse 9. It said, And being found in Him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. He said, I have a desire. Okay. I have a desire. Praise the Lord. He said, this is, this is why I consider everything done. That I may win Christ. That I may be found of him. Not having my own righteousness. Which is of the Lord. But that which is through the faith of Christ. Amen. The righteousness which is of God by faith. The righteousness of the law is unattainable. Praise the Lord. But the righteousness that God requires is by faith in Christ. Praise the Lord. You see that? I was supposed to say, this is my portion. That I may be found in Christ, not having my own righteousness. So are you found in Christ? Do you have your own righteousness? Or the righteousness which is of God by faith? Amen? So we see there now plainly, there are two kinds of righteousness. The righteousness which is of the law, the righteousness which is of faith of Christ. Praise the Lord. So the righteousness that we have that God has given unto us is the righteousness of faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So let's just read 10, 11, and 12. It said, But that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. Amen. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, mm -hmm. not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after. Mm -hmm. If that I may apprehend that for which also I have apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I can't not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, mm -hmm. and reaching forth unto those things, we shall be for. I press towards the man for the prize of the high calling of God. In Christ, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This, is, this should be the heartbeat of every child of God, every minister, mm -hmm. to know Christ. Mm -hmm. The first and foremost thing in the oh, life Christ. of a believer is a desire to know Christ more, to be like Christ more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How do you know people who have a desire to know Christ, who be like Christ? That is where you see the life of God manifested in them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who pursue power, 
Amen. Though you can tell they don't have character. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Those who pursue words, mm -hmm. they can, you know, they, they can do, have all kinds of attitude. But only those who pursue to know Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. To know Christ. To be like Christ. Mm -hmm. That is the pursuit. These are the people that God seek. These are the people that God uses. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those who seek to know Him. Amen. Those who seek. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. To know Him. To be like Him. Amen. Amen. This is the call. This is the passion. Amen. This is why we study the Word of God. This is why we pray. This everything we do should be to know Him. Amen. To be like Him. Amen. Amen. Also, to make him known. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the ultimate call of the child of God. To know him, to be like him, and to make him known. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To know him, to be like him, and to make him known. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's what, this is what Apostle Paul is saying here. He said, I have not yet, as he, he, he said, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, that I may be conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. In other words, I want to be like Christ. I want to experience his death and I want to experience his resurrection. What does it mean he wants to experience his death? He, to experience the death of Christ is to die to self and the world. Praise the Lord. Is a denial of self for the will of God. Amen. To experience his resurrection is to live his life. The life of God in you. Amen. So the way to live the divine life is die to self. Praise the Lord. There is no other way to experience the resurrection life. The way to experience the resurrection life is the crucifixion of the self. And that is why he said in in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ Jesus. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. For the life which I now live in the flesh, he said, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loves me and gave himself a ransom for me. Hallelujah. He gave himself for me. Amen? So I want to talk to us about the benefit of justification. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans 5 1. Romans 5 1. The benefit of justification. What happened? What are the benefits for being justified by faith? Which is in Christ Jesus. Number one. Amen. The barriers which our sin, which is our sin between us and God, has been removed. Amen? Amen. Number one, the barrier, it is miraculous peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Miraculous what? Peace. peace. It's the peace of reconciliation. Praise the Lord. The peace is talking about that. It's a peace of heart, but it's not the, it, it includes the peace of heart, but it's not the, it's the peace of reconciliation. Praise the Lord. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. It's the peace of reconciliation. Praise the Lord. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 2. That one will explain it better. When, as in Christ, praise the Lord. As in uh, sin separate a man from God. Praise the Lord. Sin does what? What separated us from God was sin. Praise the Lord. But now that we are justified, praise the Lord. Amen? We have been reconciled to God. So this is the peace of reconciliation. That is what it's talking When it's a peace with God, it's the peace of reconciliation. Praise the Lord. That the war is over. The conflict is gone. The wrath is gone. God is no longer upset or angry with us because we have been reconciled. Amen. 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 To Ephesians 2 11. He said, Wherefore remember that you be in time past Gentiles in the flesh. 
who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Praise the Lord. He said, remember you were Gentiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that in time past, before you got born again, you were considered Gentiles. Gentiles are people without God. Mm -hmm. The heathens. The pagans. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said we, that you were called on circumcision by that which is called the circumcision. Who is the circumcision? The circumcision are the Jews. Mm -hmm. So the Jews considered us uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Amen. Amen. So when you are reading it, you need to, when you are reading the Bible and see this word, you have to know what it means. Uncircumcision, praise the Lord, is the Jew. I mean, there is the Gentile. Circumcision is the Jew. Amen? The Jews consider us uncircumcised. Why? It means you have no covenant with God. That's what David said to Goliath, this uncircumcised Philistine. He was saying that you that does not have relationship with God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? So this, this was our state. That's what Apostle Paul is saying. That this is who we were. He said, verse 12, that at that time you were without Christ, mm. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Aliens, stranger. Amen? Amen? From the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers from the covenant of promise. We were strangers from the covenant of promise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And having no hope and without God in the world. This is, this, this is the state of every unbeliever. Mm -hmm. This is the condition of every unbeliever. Yes. Anyone that is not born again, this is his state. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are what? Amen. They are without Christ. They are aliens to the commonwealth of Israel. They are strangers of the covenant of promise. They have no hope. <laughs> they are without, without God hope. in the world. Mm. What a terrible way to live. Oh, yes. Thank God for his mercy. Amen. This is why we have to preach the gospel. Yes. He said, but now. Mm, like that. But now. Amen? Amen. Say that, but now. But now. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. You see that? You who sometimes were far off mm. are made mm. nigh yeah. by the blood oh, of the Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen? Amen. You that were far off, far, 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 far from the covenant. You have been brought, brought now. This is the peace of reconciliation. Mm. Amen. Mm. This is what justification did for us. Thank you, Jesus. God brought us that we're out of the fold into the fold. Into the fold. Mm. The Amen. Fold. It's it's still. I still wonder what is wrong with us sometimes that we want to be like the world. It is the error of the saints. Yes. I have to write that book. The Old Testament. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was their problem. The Jews. They wanted to be like other nations. Why would you want to be like other nations? You have the living God. Blesses you. Amen. You are, you are secure, protected from all enemies, from every side. He said other nations have king who want to have king. Why, why, why? When God is your king, same thing we do. Now, why does a Christian want to dress like a believer? Why does a Christian want to sing like a believer, dance like a believer? Amen? Amen. Who, what is this man? Jesse Duplantin, preach a sermon. What in hell do you want? Yeah. What, in what, hell do you want in what do you want in hell? Do you want? <laughs> what do you want to go to hell? Ask me. Eh? Mm. What in hell do you want? You were in hell, and then God saved you out of hell. Mm. Why do you want to walk back to hell? Mm. Why? Why? Why is, the, why is the things of the world? So attractive, mm. you know, especially to teenagers and, and wants to experience death. death. It, it's all death. death, death. Amen. Amen. It's all death. Amen. It produced death and upon death. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's all death. Mm. It's yes. born. And the, 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 and the Bible said the pleasure of sin is for a season. season. It's the pleasure of sin. There is, there, is, there is not that there is no, there is pleasure. Mm. But it's the pleasure of sin. Praise the Lord. It's a pleasure of sin. It produces death. Amen? Amen. Why? Those believers. It is in the, all of you, even some of you that are sitting and looking at me, you, you are still carried away sometimes. When you spend so much time on Mary K, Mary B, Mary this thing, it's all part of the world. It is. Somebody paint, 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 you cannot recognize the real person. Yeah. And the people say you are beautiful. No, you are not beautiful. Uh, that is not you. <laughs> No, that's not you. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you finish painting your face and doing, somebody say, oh, you look beautiful. No, no, you are not beautiful oh. because that's not you. Oh, Take that off. The then we see the real you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So if somebody gives you compliment from America, it's deception. Mm -hmm. It's deception. And you two, you feel good. Oh, I'm beautiful. No, 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 you are not too. If you are beautiful, you should be beautiful without the baby yes. You should be beautiful without the 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 the, 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 the painting. If it, it, it before it used to be okay because it's it's powder and people rub it. You know, a lady just put few powder. I like it. I have no problem with you know putting few powder and just putting lead. It's all right. But painting, it's not, it's, 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 it's painting. Different, 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 different. You see persons, you look familiar. I used to know you. <laughs> Amen? All these things are worldliness. It, it is. It is. The time and the effort we spent on them. <laughs> so that somebody will say you're beautiful. And that is fake beauty. It's not original. It will be beauty. And some people cannot take pictures without miracle. They can't show their face. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you are not confident of yourself. Amen. 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 You, you, have to, you have to be confident of yourself. You have to like yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mary Kay or no Mary Kay. You are a child of God. Amen. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are beautiful as you are. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. If someone's, I know one who said you're not good enough. That person is not good enough yes. for you. Yes. Praise the Lord. That you have to do this and do that and do that to be good enough. That's what the, the reporting people are telling us. You know, I wear what I like. Whether it's latest or not latest. I wear what I like. Whether it's latest or not latest. Even if it is 62. If I like it, I wear it. I wear it for myself. Who are you? Why should I dress for you? Why should I be be invoked for your sake? No, 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 not for forget it. I'm not living for you. I'm living for the audience of one. Yes. If I like it, I like it. If you like it, complimentary man. If you don't like it, bye bye. Say say compliment. You know, as far as I like it, that's what matters. If you like it, good compliment. If you don't like it, it's your business. It's your business. It's your business. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So it's important yes, that we do not let the world amen, influence us, amen. squeeze us into their mold. The mold. That's yes. what the Roman, yes. the Roman 12 said. He said, don't let them squeeze you. And that's what they are doing. The world is doing everything to squeeze us into our mold. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I also post the, the, the little child that asked the, the, the auntie. On, on the on the, the the girl that asked the auntie, the you know, the question. Auntie, I'm confused. I don't understand. <laughs> what we are preaching, what the Bible says is different from the dressing I see. Mm. Uh, at a wedding, you know, a Christian wear a wedding gown. It's naked. It's, it's how would it tell me. So what is the difference between us and the world? No, no difference. No difference. No difference. Yeah? So Somebody said holiness is inside. If it's inside, it will show on the outside. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you can't do something that if, then you you lack the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And that is why believers don't carry the presence of the Holy Spirit. Because to carry the presence of the Holy Spirit, to be conscious, to carry the presence of the Holy Spirit, that you I'm not talking about having the Holy Spirit in you. I'm talking about carrying the presence of God. The Bible says, follow after peace and holiness, which without no man shall see God. Are you following what I'm saying? That means you must be a carrier. You must, you, to, to, to carry the presence of God, you must be holiness conscious. You must live a holy life. That's when you carry the presence of God. You walk into a place. Something people know that you are here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even in the home. For Holy Spirit to dwell in your home with physical manifestation, you must the home must be pure. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So the the wet, our wet, our treasures, we neglect our treasure. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We neglect what is important. So we must 
Go back to them. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, I read verse 12 again. That at that time you were without Christ, mm -hmm. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Now listen to that. We, I want us to reverse it. They say you were without Christ. Mm -hmm. But what, what about now? We are with Christ. Say I'm with Christ. I'm with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Say I'm with Christ. I am with Christ. He said, then the next he said, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Mm -hmm. So now we are no longer aliens yes. from the commonwealth of Israel. No. What is that? We are now partakers. Mm -hmm. Of the commonwealth of Israel. Declare it. Say, I'm a partaker of the commonwealth of Israel. You know, that is the inheritance that is due. Yes, the covenant people yes, of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. He said, We're strangers of the covenant promise. Yes. So now we are no longer strangers. No longer Amen. Yes. We are, we are partakers. receivers. Yes, Lord. Amen. Of the covenant of promise. Say that. Say, I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. I'm a partaker of the covenant of promise. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. the, the, because of this, yes. because we are partaker of the covenant promise, this is why you can say the Lord is my shepherd. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. If you are not partaker of that covenant, you can say all you like, the Lord is your shepherd. I shall not want. It will not work for you. Because you are not partaker of you, okay. you cannot even claim it. Mm -hmm. Because you are not partaker of the covenant. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But when you are partaker, you can claim it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. You can say, He that dwells in the secret place. Hallelujah. Why? Because it's a covenant of promise. Mm -hmm. we, we have access mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's a having no hope. But now mm -hmm. we have hope. Mm -hmm. Say, I have hope. I have hope. The blessed hope. The, blessed the eternal hope. hope. The, eternal. the hope in the God. Hope in God. I, am I am not hopeless. That is why a Christian is not supposed yeah. to be depressed. It is error for a Christian yes. to be depressed. Yes, Lord. Can Christians be depressed? Yes, yes they are. But, but not it's, not, to. it's not supposed to. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not supposed for a Christian to be depressed. A Christian being depressed is that the devil has lied to the mm -hmm. Christian and the Christian has bought the lie. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? We are hopeful. Yes. We are not hopeless. We are, yeah. we are it does not matter how bad the situation is. Trust God. Amen. Believe to the point of death. Amen. Yes. Amen. The Bible said, overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They love not their life, even not to death. At the face of death, they declare, Jesus is Lord. They said, deny Jesus and live. They said, what do you mean? Mm. My life is Christ. I have no other king but Jesus. They said, say, Caesar is king. He said, no, Jesus is king. Then they throw them to the life. Then you come and tell me because of uh, this thing you are depressed. Mm -hmm. That's a bread and butter. Bread and butter. Mm. What kind of Christians are we producing? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody get offended, they will not come to church. Okay. And when somebody have another need, they will not pay their tithe. They will use the money for something else. No. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must put God first in everything, in every way, in every aspect. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. You must put, it doesn't matter how tough and challenging the situation is. You must give what, what belongs to God to God. And don't give what belongs to God to Caesar. That's what sometimes we do. When it's time, we give what belongs to God to Caesar. Praise the Lord. We are no longer without God in the world. We are with God in the world. Praise the Lord. This is what it means to be a child of God. Yes. This is no this is no religion. It is a relationship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If father, my me and my children, we don't have religion. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife is no religion we have. What do we have? Relationship. So Christianity is relationship with God. Hallelujah. It's not religion, it's not ritual. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are with God. Amen. 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 And this God, I was reading in Second Kings, he's talking about it said the God of okay. Jerusalem. Amen. Then the, when the king of when Senat, Senatireb, what is his name? Yes. The king of Assyria came, came to besiege the, 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 the Jerusalem. He said he sent a message to them. He said, Do you think that they are, your God is able to deliver your nation out of my hand? He said, All other nations, their God has not been able to deliver them out of my hand. So what, what made you think, think that your God can deliver me? 
Yeah. The scripture said they, they, he did not know oh, that the God of Jerusalem is not like the God of all the nations. <laughs> it's my first time to see that in the scripture. This Bible, eh? I'm telling you. It the God of Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. It's different from every other God. Yeah. And God said, okay, wait and see. Wait and see. <laughs> Amen. The Bible said the Lord sent an angel who took off his strong men overnight. He woke up, they were dead. <laughs> he just, he, he packed his load and left. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He packed his load and left. Amen. And the, the Bible said, while he was in the house of his God, his son came in there killing. His son came in, his sons came in there killing. You have you you speaking against God. Who are you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I heard of a story of a girl, a young girl. The mother is a believer. You know, the mother was a, they, she was traveling with the boyfriend. The mother gave him the a crate of egg. You know, she said the, uh, she said the. Uh, Mom, I have no way to put this thing. Mom said, he said, the mom's carried. He said, no, Mom, I don't want to carry it. I will put it in the trunk. You know, she put the egg in the trunk. So, and uh, the mom said, God go with you. He said, well, Mom, the car is full. Let's go want to stay in the trunk. He said, if God wants to stay in the trunk, he's welcome. But the car is full. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as they drove, they had accident. The car was beyond repair, they mm. said. They said, funny enough, the eggs on the trunk, no one broke. God was in the trunk. He put God in the trunk with the egg. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That the, the, the car had that accident. The beyond repair. They said, but when they came to the trunk, the eggs in the trunk were intact. intact. Amen. Amen. He put God in the trunk. God, God can't protect the egg. Of course. Amen. 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 So it's uh, you died. Eh? You died. everybody died. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's uh, what where we can discuss all kinds of things. What happened there? But it's not God because the accident. No. no. But that the, His protection. That the one that spoke, he rejected yeah, it. She rejected the protection. That's it. That's, That's just what it is. You don't want to go in the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's stretch it out. Now, the Bible said in verse uh, 13. Hallelujah. But now in Christ Jesus, mm. you who sometimes were, we're far, far off, off. I made nine by the blood of Christ. Say, I, I who sometimes, sometimes were far off, have been, been made nine, I've been, been drawn near by the blood of Christ. So, this is worship. This is why we, we should worship God in spirit. Amen. 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 This is something that should excite us. Thank you, Lord. Glory Amen. To God. By the blood of Christ. Of Christ. So, Hallelujah. the ground of justification Hallelujah. is in the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. He said, the blood has brought us near yes. to God. Look at verse 14. For he is, mm -hmm. he is our peace. Is our peace. Hallelujah. Amen. He is what? Our, our peace. peace. Who has our made both one. one and has 